to the property. You just watched me pull the brush hog out of one of the buildings. One of the things that I like to do here on the property, and not only that I like to do, something that's become almost a necessity uh, every spring, is just making a few laps around each field and cleaning up some of the smaller sticks uh, that have come down over the winter. Typically, um, I'll walk each field first, pick up some of the larger stuff and throw that in the woods. Uh, sometimes I'll need to bring the chainsaw along with me. If that stuff's big enough, then I, I just scoop that up and take it up for firewood. Um, but once I walk around and pick up all the larger stuff, I'll pull out the brush hog and take that around each field, make two or three passes, kind of get 12 or 15 feet of the smaller stuff cleaned up. If I try to put everything in uh, a wheelbarrow or on a trailer, it not only takes forever, but it, it, uh, I just get pick up, end up picking up a lot of material. So this makes a lot quicker work of it. Plus the stuff gets broken up and, and beat up and it just settles down in between the grass and uh, you know composts over the next couple of years. It doesn't really interfere with the hay. I might pick up a small twig here or there, but uh, nobody has ever complained about anything like that in any of the bales. The uh, brush hog I use is a six foot, 72 inch uh, woods brush bull. Uh, I bought it used a few years ago um, and started using it for this at, at that point. I don't do uh, much very heavy brush hogging with it. Uh, it. It's pretty much just easy stuff like this. Um, but the brush hog is, is definitely makes the job much easier uh, than say a, a finish mower or a flail mower or something like that. The tractor that I'm using is uh, a late 80s Alice Chalmers 5050. It's a 50 horsepower three cylinder diesel tractor. Uh, a little small for some of the stuff that I do here on the property but this is my uh, my workhorse. This is what I use for most of the heavier stuff. Baling, uh, mowing, and then uh, brush hogging as well. Uh, I pull a lot of logs with this tractor. Um, and it's never let me down. It's, it's been a really good tractor so far. I've had it for about seven or eight years and uh, put probably a couple thousand hours on it. But I'll uh, set you up here in the field and uh, make a few passes around this one. Then we'll head up to, uh, to one of the other fields and, and uh, finish off for the day.
task of the 2020 haying season is complete. Pretty excited to get back out in the fields again and uh, get haying this summer. You know, it wasn't too bad going around the fields. Um, it's chopped up a decent amount of small stuff, but it wasn't near as bad as in some of the years past. I did notice in some spots that we were actually cutting grass. Um, I have the brush hog set at about four inches uh, when I'm doing this sort of thing and um, we were cutting grass in, in a few different places um, so that's good to see that it's uh, that it's already coming up like I said it's definitely starting to get pretty green uh, it'll green up a little bit more uh, hopefully in the next month or so and within the month we should be uh, getting out there for the first cutting I've got to do uh, some service on the equipment yet I've got to replace a few belts and a couple chains on the hay bind, service the tractor and just get everything greased up and ready to go for the season that'll be uh, in a future video I've got everything ordered now so hopefully be arriving at the house within the next week or so. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you on the next one.